Activists are often people that can be aspirational. They pose an ideal existence where they make fighting for causes look as easy as breathing, despite all the hard work that goes into advocating for the right thing. And yet, human nature is fickle, and people can often not be what they seem. And even activists aren't exempt from this law of nature. Today, we'll be discussing the biggest secrets activists have kept from their followers. First up, Red Cross. For anyone still somehow unaware, the Red Cross poses as a helpful, non-profit humanitarian organization dedicated to bringing emergency assistance, disaster relief, and education regarding disastrous circumstances in the United States. Although it doesn't take a lot of poking and prodding on the internet to see that underneath its big claims and supposedly good intentions, the Red Cross is a fairly problematic organization. Here's the thing about the organization. All the money that they do receive from donors is not visibly spent on actual victims. Stories of workers being exploited are far too common, and alleged sexual misconduct is also somewhat rampant in the organization. Organization. The little they do for victims is placing them in hotels until they can find adequate lodgings. But even then, these hotels are in partnership with the organizations, so they're technically still not spending any donor money on the victims. The organization is also pretty vague in terms of declaring statistics and reports of what they've done for victims over the years. And that's not a good look for a nonprofit organization. More so than that, according to reports over the years, Red Cross is particularly wasteful of food and warm clothes, throwing food out even amidst food crisis. Next up, let's talk about the Hillary Clinton. Back in 2016, when Hillary Clinton lost the presidential election to Donald Trump, many people were incredibly upset. After all, Hillary becoming America's first female president would have been a massive step for America in terms of women's rights. Except there's always something shady happening in politics. Most of Clinton's campaign centered around her morality and her belief in freedom for all. So it came as a big surprise when amidst her campaigning and even after, scandal refused to part ways with her. As the wife of Bill Clinton and the First Lady of the U.S., Clinton had won mass support due to her support of various nonprofit organizations and fundraising. She's even served as U.S. Secretary of State for a while there, and amidst it all, as you may have guessed, has been a part of her fair share of controversies, not least of which is the one associated with the Clinton Foundation. Before we get into it, though, let's acknowledge that the foundation was initially found to be clean as a whistle back in 2016 when investigations first began. More than 87 percent of what the foundation receives from donors and fundraisers goes to programs and services the charity offers. But eventually, people started talking about Clinton using the foundation as a front for a pay-to-play scheme, where she sold access to movers and shakers in return for large donations. That's not even all, though. Clinton has been linked to an email-related controversy, the infamous Whitewater controversy, and more. Let's now talk about Autism Speaks. Ask any able-bodied person if Autism Speaks is a credible organization to donate to, and they'll probably probably say yes, but many autistic people and their families vehemently despise the organization and would rather have you support any other autism awareness organization. Founded by a couple who wanted to bring awareness to the condition afflicting their grandson, the backstory sounds like a heartwarming tale capable of making adults cry. But for years now, Autism Speaks, according to people on the autism spectrum themselves, has been perpetrating and enabling misinformation about the condition as well as the people living with it. First things first, autism Autism Speaks doesn't help autistic people at all. In fact, only about 4% of their budget goes into helping individuals with autism. About 22% of their budget is spent on fundraising. Lack of proper financial systems in place would be one thing, but Autism Speaks also searches to end autism, which is harmful rhetoric. Most of the organization's budget goes into autism research, where they are trying, by all means necessary, to make sure mothers don't give birth to autistic children. But then again, you can't expect much from an organization that, for the longest time, didn't have a single autistic member on its board. It's one of the few disability charities that refuse to have individuals with disabilities weigh in on decisions made by the board. They hired an autistic author, but he too resigned because the organization supposedly has no respect for the very people who apparently help them. And we don't even have time to get into their disgusting marketing techniques. Now, on to Johnny Cash. Celebrities have always been grouped in with activists to the point where, more often than not, people may force famous celebrities to use their influence to speak up on issues they may not be fully educated on. Sometimes celebrities will pick certain causes and devote their influence and popularity to helping them. For Johnny Cash, the famous singer and songwriter from the 50s, his cause was prison reform. A veteran and an American patriot, Johnny Cash was the ideal activist. As a good Christian, he believed in forgiveness and reform, and above all, redemption. He sang that he wore black for the prisoner who has long paid for his crime. But behind that fairly tolerant facade, were you 
you aware that Johnny Cash was responsible for a devastating wildfire? Well, in 1995, he sparked a fire in Southern California that ended up burning more than 500 full acres. It almost even wiped out populations of endangered condors. He, of course, did end up paying damages, $82,000 to be exact. Just for reference, it would now, taking inflation into account, be over half a million dollars today. Now, this isn't as dramatic as other activists on this list, but burning down half a thousand acres and wiping out a whole population of endangered species, all while talking about humanitarian reform, does read a bit ironic. We can't, of course, forget Rachel Dolezal. No list of scandalous secrets kept by activists cannot include Rachel Ann Dolezal. A former college instructor and a famous activist, Rachel Dolezal is most famous for presenting herself as a black woman when she was born to white parents. If you think claiming black ancestry is bad, you'd be shocked to find out that she also claimed to possess Native American ancestry, all falsely, of course. For years, Dolezal led a secret life in the Pacific where even her friends thought she was a black cis woman with a passion for advocating for the rights of black people, to the extent where she even became the former president of the Spokane, Washington NAACP chapter. She was a liar, though, as explained by her parents in June of 2015. They claimed that Dolezal was estranged from her parents and that she'd carried out a giant ruse. And the news became a viral sensation. A mere two months later, another scheme concocted by Dolezal was revealed by the authorities where she had apparently received nearly 8850 in public assistance from Washington State after she had lied again and claimed she had little income and needed financial assistance. In 2015, Dolezal changed her name to Nekiki Amare Diallo and was tarred with welfare fraud, perjury, and falsifying records for public assistance, all felonies. She was even advised in the two years that she received this assistance that if she lied or provided false information or failed to accurately report her circumstances, she could legally be prosecuted. The story has been huge on the internet with many facets still unclear. Like why would Dolezal lie about being a black woman or her income? We suppose some questions are just not meant to be answered. Lastly, we can't forget about Sean King. Known as a big activist for the Black Lives Matter movement, Sean King, much like Rachel Dolezal, came under heat for lying about his identity as a black man. In 2015, conservative media outlets published multiple claims and the contradictions within these claims made by King himself. They sparked a discussion on whether King is biracial at all, which is presented during all his endeavors. This resulted in King having to disclose multiple parts of his personal life to be proven honest and legitimate. King was a blogger at the time on the liberal daily cost and had been a very prominent face of the Black Lives Matter movement since the police shooting of Michael Brown in Ferguson, Missouri. Milo Yiannopoulos wrote in Breitbart, which is a conservative website, that Sean King was in fact not biracial. The report even cited a whole birth certificate. King did respond, shutting down the supposedly false allegations and said that the man on his birth certificate isn't his real father. From what we could find, there's no actual confirmation about what the man's race may truly be, but it does beg the question of why Rachel Dolezal and Sean King's stories are so similar, yet the two can't be considered the same. Sean King did claim that at the age of eight, he did realize he was very likely biracial, but did not know the identity of his father. Let us know in the comments below what you think. If you enjoyed watching the video, be sure to leave a like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications by pressing the bell icon to get notified every time we post a new video. And we will see you next time.